This news is from the Nonpartisan Wisconsin Taxpayers Alliance, Thursday, March 24th, 2016. I'm here with Stephanie Rubin, Research Analyst with the Wisconsin Taxpayers Alliance. The latest issue of our monthly publication discusses Wisconsin's income tax, which has undergone a number of changes in recent years. What are some of these changes? In 2009, to deal with the declining tax revenues due to the recession, lawmakers added a new top tax bracket for high earners. Since then, there have been several rounds of rate cuts, in addition to some smaller changes, and the combined impact of these changes has resulted in a tax cut for most taxpayers. We looked in detail at married filers and found filers with incomes between $20,000 and $50,000 received the largest cut, over 30%. Those with incomes between $50,000 and $200,000 have reductions ranging from 3 to 8%. Due largely to the new top tax bracket, those with incomes over $500,000 saw their taxes climb almost 6% between 2008 and 2014. How does Wisconsin compare to other states when it comes to the income tax? Despite recent income tax reductions, Wisconsin remains a relatively high income tax state. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, income taxes claimed 3% of personal income in 2013 here, seventh highest among the states and above the national average, which is about 2.3%. Per capita, Wisconsin collected over $1,200 in income taxes in 2013, 11th most in the country. So what was the breakdown between filers, income, and taxes paid in 2014? In tax year 2014, Wisconsin had 3 million filers reporting $157.8 billion of income and paying about $6.6 billion in income taxes. Two-thirds of those filers had Wisconsin-adjusted gross income of less than $50,000. However, this group of filers claimed 23% of the income and paid 9.4% of state income taxes. The vast middle, filers with incomes between $50,000 and $200,000, reported a slight majority of both income and taxes paid, but comprised only 31% of filers. Just 2.5% of filers had incomes over $200,000. However, they reported a quarter of income and paid more than a third of state income taxes. More than 90% of net taxes were paid by the third of filers with incomes over $50,000. What can people do to learn more? Well, they can visit www.wistax.org and download a free copy of the study, 100 Years and Counting, or they can request one by calling our office at 608-241-9789. Thank you. That was Stephanie Rubin, research analyst with the Nonpartisan Wisconsin Taxpayers Alliance.